What's up, man? This your boy D Blue, CEO of Blue of Entertainment. Uh, this basis is a Blue of Entertainment interview. I know a lot of y'all been waiting for it, but here it go. I got my top artist right here. He go by the name RJ. Uh, most of y'all know him uh, from his mixtape Simple Me, and I basically just got him right here, you know, to answer a lot of questions that y'all might wanna wanted to ask him, and he's here to give you the answer. So. <clears throat> what inspired you to start rapping, and at what age did you start? I was inspired from uh, doing music, um, just from my background. My background that I, I grew up in, um, I started out around the age of eight years old. I've always wanted to just do music, and... Uh, I was mostly inspired by Tupac growing up, Tupac, Jay-Z, Nas, Biggie, uh, Ron DMC, Beastie Boys, The Beatles, Pink Floyd, uh, pretty much everybody who was higher than I was. Where did you grow up and how did your environment play into your music? I grew up on the east side of Athens. I was born in Atlanta. Uh, my environment played into my music because of uh, all the negative stuff that was around me. Drugs, money, females, guns, uh, the streets. Uh, it played a lot into my music. And you could tell from the way, from what, what I was rapping about back way back when, when I did it. And uh, pretty much everything that I, Pretty much everything that I seen around me, I incorporated into my music to try to uh, make a new style and to have something for everybody to listen to. So, who influences you now? Who, <clears throat> I think, who influences me now is my label, uh, Blue Up Entertainment, my group, NBC. Number Cash. Um, honestly, like a lot of these whack ass rappers <laughs> would influence me right now. <laughs> Cause a lot of these niggas can't rap. Yeah, there's a lot of them out there. But pretty much um, everything around me influenced me now. Uh, my bills influence me now. So, um, just keep it real, man. Everything everything around me influenced me in some way. Um, the military influenced me now. Just just by the fact of uh, the stuff that go on and and um, my friends, family, crackheads, and everybody influenced me just because it, it reminded me of how much I want to get out and how much I want to make it and become a successful artist one day. Who supports you most with your music? I would say my producer, D Blue, one, uh, my family as well, um, Ashley, Bruce, uh, influenced me a lot. Uh, my dad influenced me a lot. My mom, Deanna Jones, influenced me a lot. Um, his cousin, Lakeisha, yeah, my aka cousin. six nine. Six nine. Uh, I, <clears throat> my whole my whole family, my squad, my team, my promotional team, um, myself, um, everybody, man, everybody who ever had a simple me CD supports me the most. And if you ain't got it, please go get it, go download it, look it up, Google it, simple me mixtape. Or for all y'all who got the throwback CD to come up. Uh, Elite, the showstopper, my cousin, Ant the Ripper, everybody, uh, Sniper, uh, everybody. If you got, if you got and one of my CDs or ever heard one of my songs and you like it, you support me the most. How did you get involved with Blue Up Entertainment? I was actually introduced to D Blue through my cousin's wife. Shout out to Mate and his wife. Shell. Shell. Uh, she introduced me to D Blue when I was about 14, about 13 or 14, some around in that age. I was young, hungry, uh, trying to record, 
call myself trying to do music at the time. And uh, I've been rocking with them since. About, uh, we in strong, about eight, nine years strong. Yeah. What can we expect from you this year? Everything. <laughs> we can expect everything. I'm getting on everybody's song. I'm shitting on everybody's song. Uh, I'm doing everything. You can't name not one thing I'm gonna do. Military, music, stocks and bonds, uh, everything. You, you, I don't know what to expect from me this year, cause I'm gonna do everything. What's your favorite song you've ever done? Damn, that's a deep one. Mm. My favorite song I ever done. Will probably be February Hurts. Uh, I made a song called February Hurts, uh, which roll into my next CD that I'll be coming out with my next mixtape. Uh, I made the song February Hurts from uh, I used to be married. Uh, I used to be married, uh, and a, a, like a few months ago I was married and I had kids, and then I found out my kids weren't mine through a whole bunch of. Nonsense and stuff. Shout out to her. Uh, found out my kids weren't mine and made a song about it. I uh, had my son. I had my son on the end of the song. Uh, my first time ever playing it for one of my homeboys. Uh, we were sitting in the car, and uh, he had been going through a divorce as well, and he had kids involved. You know and. Uh, uh, he got really emotional about it, and everybody who I play it for get really emotional about it, whether they know me or not. And so, with me having to have some to make some out my heart, put it on paper, record it, and then to have others like mourn over it and show a lot of emotion and sympathy for my situation, let me know that they were the best song I ever did. How many mixtapes and albums do you have? So far, I got I got four. I got four mixtapes. The first mixtape I ever did was uh, a mixtape. We had a group called a Dream Team. I did uh, with Michi G back when I was like a young, like super young, like twelve. I did that with him. Uh, the next mixtape, my second one, I did. I did with uh, off the street. We used to record on a tape player. Uh, we could record like half of the songs on a tape player. And then we recorded half the songs in like a, in a closet with a Walmart microphone, uh, with a with a bent clothes hanger and a stocking, and we Hustling did. Flow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <coughs> we recorded that, and then my third mixtape was the come up, and uh, which I recorded with Elite the Showstopper. My fourth mixtape was Simple Me, which I dropped last year, August the sixteenth in two thousand eleven. And uh, I'm working on five and six right now at the same time, simultaneously. Same uh, my my uh, fifth mixtape is going to be with my group. I'm starting a group in North Dakota, NBC. That's Nama Cash. Shout out to Trey, Bebo, Q, uh, Ralph, uh, the whole nine. Doe, Clay, Squirt, uh, Russell, Kino. <clears throat> All y'all, man. Shout out to y'all. The other Trey. Marlon, the whole nine, the whole squad, man. Shout out to y'all. Uh, working on their mixtape. And uh, putting, uh, it pretty much three three other artists. They just starting out to do music and stuff. So uh, we're trying something different. I'm trying to approach their mixtape from a, from a producer level. You know, uh, even though I'm in the mixtape, I'm still trying to, like, supervising it and trying to, like, get in the feel of having my own my own thing, like my own studio, my own little label and stuff like that up under Blue Up Entertainment, you know, under everybody. Um, that's about it. So what is so, your goals for your music career? My goals for music music career is to, touch, to just reach people, to touch people, to touch the world, to leave my legacy here. So when I die, when I die, uh, I have some other than my kids in the future, who, which I plan on having, uh, you know, to have some here for the people to listen to, and um, 
to just change the world, man. I want to be a part of something. I want to be, I want to be one of the great names that people remember in the world when I die, uh, that live on forever. Uh, something that people can hold on to and still relate to 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 40 years from now. Um, I want to, I want to make a lot of money so I can take my family up out of here. Uh, put other people in 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 uh, new positions to be successful in life. I wanna uh, I wanna donate. I wanna donate money to uh, to orphanages and and foster and foster kids. And I wanna help out. I wanna help the poor. I wanna really make an impact. Cause half niggas that say they doing it ain't really doing shit. So uh, I wanna open up doors for people who've had doors closed in their face. Uh, who don't have? I just want. I just believe in everybody having uh, an opportunity to experience the life, the great life. And if I can be in any part of that, or it can provide any opportunity for people, I am. When you're not busy in the studio, how do you enjoy your life? Getting prepared for the studio. <laughs> uh, I enjoy my life. I play video game on the man at man. On the man in 2K12, uh, I play football, run track, uh, play basketball. Uh, I go out to the club every now and then. Uh, I don't shop as much as I used to. Uh, buy studio equipment. Uh, pretty much everything that I do now got got something to do with with either exercise or music. Or both. So. How has being in the military affected your music? Being in the military affected my music because it gave, it has gave me like it's it shown me different things and uh you pretty much like when you're in the military you see so much stuff and you see a lot of different stuff so you're able to rap about more you're not just Sing, uh, single-minded. Um, I'm able to see like uh, what people really go through, who deployed, you know, rather than just see about it on TV. You kind of get the insight of where everything that's going on within the government, which expands my mind more to rap about it. Um, moving to different cities and stuff helped me out a lot as far as promotion-wise, you know, to get my music out. Um, and it's free to travel, so. Uh, when you want order, so you know, getting my music out of different cities ain't really that hard. Uh, me, new people, um, being a part of just so many people's lives uh, as I move and stuff like that. Uh, the money I, um, and hopefully I'll be going overseas, so I'll be taking, I'll be taking my talents to Germany sometime soon. Bigger fan base. Hopefully. And okay. shout out to Canada, Winnipeg, Regina, Saskatchewan Beach, Brandon, um, all of them over there. Fan base is very huge. Very huge. Bigger than the, your local, you know what I'm saying, artists around here. But I got, I got most of my love in Canada and Regina. Uh, shout out to Dakota and Raven and all y'all up there. Shout out to y'all. Who do you listen to when you're not listening to your music? Usually I listen to uh, mainstream. I listen to Lil Wayne, Drake, the whole Young Money. Uh, honestly, I listen to everybody. Uh, just to see what, what type of stuff that a lot of people coming out with. Some of it hot, some of it shitty. Uh, as far as uh, not mainstream, I listen to upcoming artists around my city. Uh, I listen to uh, people on... on People on the label, uh, shout out to Malachi, Miss Unique, and uh, Tipsy, Tip Claw. Uh, I listen to all them. Um, Velvet. So, yeah, Velvet. Santisa, uh, the gospel singer. Yeah, all them. I listen to everybody. I pretty much just listen to everybody. That's how I, that's how I come up with with new shit. Cause I don't do shit that everybody else did. Oh, before I catch y'all, you know I can't leave. You. Uh, LG out, Larry. Oh yeah, shout out to Larry. LG, man. Yeah, yeah. New artists on the label. Yeah, coming soon. Rising above. <clears throat> 
Um, I listen to my little cousin. Uh, he called himself trying to do music. Him and his whole squad. Shout out to man and your whole squad. Uh, Quincy. I listen to uh, Q, a little, another little artist down here. Um, but my favorite artist I listen to right now probably be uh, my favorite would probably be I like Meek Mill. Uh, I listen a lot of Meek Mill. Uh, I still I listen to Ti of course. Ti uh, my favorite song right now is probably uh, Nas that daughter song. Uh, this song got a, uh, I ain't, I don't have a daughter, but I got a little sister, so I just, I'm kind of like her daddy in a way, so it seemed like it anyway. Uh, so I like that song. Uh, so if I went into your car right now and turned on the radio or on the CD player, what would be on? My shit. <laughs> 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 I listen to. I listen to my stuff more than uh, anybody, uh, Jeff, because I'm, I'm my biggest criticizer, so I listen to my own yes, stuff, uh, and to see how I can get better, I listen to the same song like 20 times over, so uh, be prepared for me if you ride with me, we're going to listen to the same shit over and over. Um, shout out to them Boom Boys, Eastside, I just recorded a couple songs with my homeboy, Brand Brand. Uh, <clears throat> be looking out for his stuff pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, I listen to my own shit, Kanye status. Do you have a date on when your your next album, your next mixtape is gonna be out? No, but no. they coming soon. It's coming soon. It might come tomorrow. Shit, they coming soon though. I don't, I don't have no set dates for them because some days I record eight songs, some days I record one verse, some days I don't even record. So I uh most of the time we just rank up songs over here and she just pick out the hat, you know what I'm saying, what we gonna put out, you know, so But it's coming soon. Sometime this summer. Be looking out for it. I don't know the name of it yet. <laughs> well I feel like before he left, uh, when I first met him, he was he was fine, you know what I'm saying? But he asked me a question before he left. He asked me, uh, D Blue, do you think uh, I should go in the military or should I stay here? Do you think that my music, that I'm going to go somewhere with my music? So I'm like, well, to give you a real life answer, I think you should go in the military. I mean, I feel like you should put your life come first and your hobbies, you know, uh, they come second. Uh, so I feel like you should just, I told him, you know, just just go ahead and go in the military and you can continue to do this, do this music. And uh, shit, he left, took off, and I don't know what he was taking over there, you know what I'm saying, but it was like he was shooting up steroids because he, he don't got super lyrical than what he was before he left. So I'm glad that I gave him the answer that I gave him. Cause then also I think it made a better man uh, of him. Uh, he had some good experiences. He had some bad experiences uh, over there. But you know that all that's all part of becoming a man. And if I had to go back and take it back, take my answer back, what I gave him, I would take it back. I leave it just like it is. Uh, he also had has had the opportunity to be on uh, Shady Forty Five, XM Radio. Uh, hip hop nation. Yeah, I was on Shade Forty Five. Hip hop nation. Uh, I was on ninety three, ninety three three down in Florida. DJ Khaled. Uh, was the DJ Khaled was the host that night. Uh, with Big E. Shout out to Big E. Um, I got I got I got to him through my mama. My mom used to talk to him, so you know I'm blessed with that. Uh. Yeah. I think the man, the young man is making moves. I mean, we ain't just sitting around just wasting money, just, you know, soak, just sucking up the air, wasting air. <coughs> I mean, we, we putting in some work over here. And 
I'm in. I'm satisfied with you know what's going on right now. I wouldn't change that. Well, yes, I would. I would turn it up some more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything what we doing. So, mm -hmm. so shout out to you know uh, R J. Shout out to you know my little sister over there. I don't adopt you now. <laughs> Ashley, huh? So, Alize. Yeah, Miss Alize. <laughs> what's up, y'all? She's also a rapper. You know, she's from Kentucky. She's doing her thing. I actually like, you know, the way her style. So, uh, hopefully you'll be hearing some things from her, too. Uh, if you want to look us up, uh, you can always Google Blue Up Entertainment, Blue Up E-N-T. Not Blue Up. B-L-U-E. Up. U-P. E-N-T. Or Entertainment. Google that. We on Facebook. I have a YouTube channel, Blue Up Entertainment. I mean, Blue Up E-N-T. Uh... We on tag MySpace, venue, venue, every everything, every social site out there. We on. Uh, you can also look up RJ, uh, Google his name. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everything will pop up. Uh, you can find me at Facebook. Uh, dot com forward slash. Um, fuck. Oh, Youngin T C Y U N G I N. The letter T, the letter C. RJ ain't playing at. Without the G at gmail.com. You can find me at twitter.com forward slash the new guy 2011. Um, what else? I ain't got a YouTube account yet. But you can find it through, you know, the label YouTube, Blue Up NT. Shout out to all my boy back in North Dakota again. All my niggas on the east side down here, Boom Boys, uh, Block Burner, Gang Green. Uh, shout out to all my uh, click in North Dakota, uh, NBC. Cutlass Records, some Ciroc Boys, my homie Big Ace up there. Uh, shout out to everybody, man. Yeah. My God. So I guess we this interview is over. Thanks for listening. Like I said, look us up. Um, we'll be coming out with some fine stuff. So, peace out. And everybody can't rap. So all y'all niggas yeah. out there who recording all that whack shit. Clogging up the... Clogging up the pipes, man, you know what I'm saying? You need to put all your CDs in your trunk, drive <laughs> off a bridge, and drown. Because all y'all fucking suck. Drive up to the nearest bridge, jump out the motherfucking car, and kill yourself. Bitch! <laughs> Blue Entertainment, boy.